Ladies and gentlemen, I come from the court of the sacred fire. I come from the god star Sirius. I come now as the lords of karma and the four and twenty elders have considered at this cycle of the year, at the turning of the mind of Christ, at the release of resurrection's flame, at the equinox, so as they have considered the destiny of a planet and a solar system. And to my right stands the keeper of the scrolls, marking the lines and the notations that have been given unto me as a report from the four and twenty elders. I address you as keepers of the flame, as sons and daughters of light. I address you as life streams who have accepted the responsibility for the salvation of a planet. I address you in the conformity of your souls, expecting that you shall receive my report and give answer with the responsibility that is due the Christ self within you. Therefore, let the word go forth and let it be known this day that the response of souls of light upon Terra is gratifying indeed to the lords of karma and to the four and twenty elders. Let it also be known that that which has been given forth as invocation, as decree, as the release of God, harmony, is pleasing unto God, unto the Most High. And your offerings by the purity of your devotion have reached new heights, and therefore the response comes forth from cosmic councils. And now we give advice to souls of light giving their all. First of all, the present momentum of invocation must certainly be kept at its level or increased. And therefore, those of you who have been instrumental in raising the vibrations of a planet by your calls and your service must keep on keeping on for cosmic councils and dispensations of light that are forthcoming are actions that have been taken because of the momentum you have sustained. Therefore, to perpetuate the energies of the sacred fire that we desire to crystallize on earth and throughout the solar system, we must know that those who are serving will continue at that level of service unto the hour of the ascension. And for some of you, therefore, because of service and because hierarchy is depending on that service, there has been given forth the dispensation of the extension of your lifespan that you might continue in embodiment to serve the great law of life. Therefore, I say, be grateful to be here where you can continue to make the calls. And I say then, plan on fulfilling that plan in longevity, in fruitfulness, and in life, bearing life. If this be sustained, then the next requirement of the law is the melting by a fervent love of your heart's devotion, of all division and separation of the body of light upon earth, we are determined, as the Lord Christ has spoken this day, so we are determined. And when I say we, I express the will of the chain of hierarchy all the way back to the great central sun. We are determined that those forces and force fields, those fallen ones 
and of the accuser of the brethren shall then have their momentums of separation dissolved by the action of the fervent heat of divine love. We command by the authority of your free will through your own heart chakra the shattering of the force fields of hatred and fanaticism through right wing and left wing political and religious movements. So let not those who are light bearers before and against aspects of the body of God. Let them espouse the light. Let them take that vow of becoming the bride of Christ. Let them become the bridegroom of the cosmic virgin. Let each one then seal the union of energies and of love with God on high. That no erg of energy be spent in opposition to any part of the body of God. In order to accomplish this, you must be aware that evil is impersonal, that evil is an action of darkness, of misqualified energy that seeks to be made personal through the manifestation, through the pure sons and daughters of God. Therefore, recognize that it is not the people, but the forces that manipulate them, that cause the energy veil to coalesce and to become personified. Let us then strip from all mankind the personification of evil and let it come about by a rallying of the action of light within your hearts, by your free will, fiats of light, challenging all those dark ones who seek to become the personification of evil through the children of God. Therefore I say, look through the soul that is transparent, look through the four lower bodies, look beyond into the face of the Christ, and let there be no condemnation, but only the exaltation of light, light, light. And by that exaltation, let the natural, disintegration of evil manifest wherever error appears. The key to the victory of the planet then is the dissolving of human hatred. Therefore, Saint Germain comes forth and stands now on this platform to offer the momentum of that causal body of infinite love, the love of freedom offering that causal body of light to mankind specifically for the annihilation of all human hatred that all those who love God who love their countries who love that Christ appearing in every nation might be free of fanaticism therefore by the action of Saint Germain by the action of his causal body let the assassins and the would-be assassins be bound. Let the fanaticism of those groups that act independently of their governments to bring about what they consider justice be bound. Let them be stripped of those entities and those demons of fanaticism by the power of Saint Germain. As you make those calls then, you will see how Saint Germain will come forth for the dissolving of those differences that all mankind might enter into the flame of the one and recognize the banner of union and the banner of Micah, angel of unity. Thank you, blessed ones, for your tribute to the hierarch, the great God of freedom. Won't you please be seated? I urge you to consider then that as you define hatred as that element which must be dissolved and can only be dissolved in love and in the love of freedom's fires, consider then that that hatred of the Christ, of the light of the mother, of the light of America, of the light of the I am race, has also coalesced 
as witchcraft, as black magic, as mortal cursings and voodoo rite. That hatred comes in many guises. It comes as superstition. It comes as deception and as mild dislike. It comes, therefore, to trip the light bearers on their way. It comes as the anger of the Luciferians. I say, uncloak those unholy ones. Let us then now strip them of their garments of darkness. Let them stand before you naked so that you may behold how they have fooled the very ones who are destined in the name of Saint Germain, in the name of the great I am, to carry that light of freedom throughout the earth. I come then with the initiation of one of the stations of the cross, the stripping of the garments, and I bring that initiation to the fallen ones by order of the four and twenty elders. Therefore they shall this day be stripped of their cloaks of deceit and conceit, stripped of their capes where they have hidden their works of darkness. Let them be exposed at every level of government, of education, of religion, of the economy. So then, let the children of God know the enemy within the camp. And when they see and behold the fallen ones, let them immediately depersonalize that evil. Let them not become attached to the person of evil. Let them withdraw instead by action of the fiat of the light, all energies of the energy veil. Let them see then how, by that magnitude of scientific prayer and invocation, those evil ones will be demagnetized, de-energized. How they will shrivel up into nothingness and how they will gather the tatters of all that remains of a selfhood that is a not-selfhood round about them. See then that you puncture the balloon of pride rather than sitting in the seat of the scornful. Understand then that the only way this planet will ever be rid of the momentum of evil or the personifiers of evil is for the light bearers to never more be fooled by that action, by that total deception of the personification of evil. They have no power. I come to proclaim before you by the action of my crown of light, by the edict of the four and twenty elders, that they are stripped this day of that momentum which they have used as the rattling of sabers to scare mankind and the children of God, I say, be not afraid. Do not be intimidated, for they have not the power of Almighty God within them. Therefore, I say, challenge the accuser of the brethren wherever he is found. Whatever the mask, challenge him. For the accuser of the brethren, as the arch deceiver of mankind, is the one who has made the personification of the energy veil popular among the fallen angels. Praise forth the light of the Christ. Praise forth the light of the Christ. Praise forth the light of the Christ. Now then, let all who call themselves students of the I am, students of the ascended masters, disciples of Christ, mystics of the ages, come into that one fold where there is that one shepherd. For hierarchy requires a great disk of light composed of souls here below, merging in a single force field to receive the full gathered momentum of the great central sun magnet that shall surely appear as a sign in the heavens as the great disk of the sun of Helios and Vesta that shall surely appear in the time that is marked 
in the time that is designated. So it will come when that energy of separation has been dissolved. It will come for it is necessary that you receive that light, that momentum, which even in this hour, with all the light that is given, cannot be given simply because of the remaining substance of hatred, of accusation, that these holy ones, these who have professed the love of Saint Germain, have allowed to separate them from the unity of the Christ light. Were we to release this light at this time, there would ensue cataclysm and the failing of men's hearts for fear. And therefore we will not. And therefore at this moment, the body of the mother is filled with a maximum light, a pressing down and a charging of the heart chakra with such fire as to be pressing to the limit of the capacity of a physical form and of the four lower bodies. And in like manner, we have given to each one a little more than you have ever been given in any force field or conclave of light. So the stretching of the cup of light is come, and the hour for the preparation is come. And as the four and twenty elders now look upon the world seen and upon the hordes of darkness and the fallen ones preparing with their plots formulated behind closed doors and in secret chambers. So as they prepare for world takeover, the hosts of light, the armies of the Lord also prepare for the coming of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. in order to counteract those many forces of darkness and those hordes in and out of embodiment who are amalgamating their hatred of the Divine Mother and her seed. The body of light bearers must appear as one, must convene as one, must commune as one. Therefore, the dispensation from the four and twenty elders which I give this day, which must be implemented by your calls, is for the freeing of the true souls of light from those psychic movements, from those psychic energies and teachings which are not of the law and not of Saint Germain. For many are caught in spirals of manipulation and the control of one another for they have been taught by the false teachers and the false prophets. Therefore, as the heart action of the four and twenty elders and of the karmic board, there goes forth energy into every soul caught in the teachings of the Antichrist. And they shall receive this moment and this day the impetus and the thrust that shall release them from every teaching that is not just. And that momentum will be sustained until their beings and consciousness are impelled into the true knowledge of the law of the inner being and of the ascended masters. Now let all who have within their hands, within their hearts, within their minds, the ability to illumine souls, to free souls, and to bring forth unity. Go forth from this conference of light with that mission, with that determination that no more will the body of God on earth be separated, be fooled, be tricked into warring among themselves but by God and by the I am within you, let your vow be that the oneness of all life will be fulfilled in you. This is your calling. 
and we have given our backing to that call and that calling. Each moment that you take a step in the undoing of hatred and misunderstanding and separation, there will stand beside you an angel from the court of the sacred fire, an emissary of the four and twenty elders to reinforce your word with that certain energy that contains my fiat and the dispensation of light as well as that which is required to dissolve spirals of hatred and the curses of the wicked within their consciousness. So let the children of the light be free. Let them no more be used to work a work against the law of the Lord whom they serve. So let them serve love diligently night and day and come home in the victory of the ascension. This night, ere this conference is drawn to a close by Sanat Kumara and Lady Master Venus, the four and twenty elders will receive from you as you will letters written in your own hand requesting dispensations and opportunities to remove all forces and force fields that contribute to the tearing down of the image of the cosmic virgin. So as you take your leave of this meeting, won't you take your repast and then commune with God your I am presence and ask to be shown what you should ask what you should write and then take your pen in hand and address your letter to your God self to me and to the four and twenty elders your letters will be answered at midnight this time and you will have in you that which is required and those dispensations which are granted in answer to your requests so let it be. I am the goddess of liberty and I welcome you one and all to Shasta 1975 to the mountain and to the brotherhood there for we have many words to give you many spirals of light and a special consecration for all who come physically to that place to consecrate in your physical forms and to concentrate there energies which you will need to carry through a cycle of freedom and victory for this, our country, this country that is yours, that is mine, and that belongs to all mankind. I am the goddess of liberty. I raise my torch and I welcome all, the tired and the poor, the huddled masses yearning to breathe free. I welcome all, all to the heart of America and to the heart of the mother. I welcome all to the teachings of the ascended masters. Send these, the homeless, tempest toss to me. I lift my lamp beside the golden door.